Okay, I had to make a video about this uh, because everybody is still upset about the election and people keep asking me, who did I vote for? Well, I'm a Republican and I don't toe the party line on everything, but I tell you point blank and plain, I am not afraid to admit or share with the world that I was proud to vote for Donald J. Trump. And I'm going to tell you why, man, because I am so sick and tired of the same old politicians promising the same thing every four to eight years, this same cycle. And guess what? Nothing, nothing changes. Nothing. They get comfortable with their power. They get comfortable with their position. And they get all nice and fat on the success of not doing a damn thing. Now, before y'all get butt hurt about this, I was also very adamant and proud of voting for Barack Obama in 2008 and 2012. And that is not a slight against John McCain. You know, he, he served our country and he was a POW. And to me, he is still an American hero. OK, but you can't fight history and Obama is going to be president, period. The country moved to the left. OK, they got upset with Bush and I don't agree with everything Bush did. And also, I, I, I mean, I disagree with a lot of things that President Bush did and the country spoke. And this is a democracy, ladies and gentlemen. And when President Obama blew John McCain out. There was no riots. There was no property being destroyed. Yes, it was some words being tossed back and forth on both sides. And to me, that's shameful on both sides. But that's how democracy works. Somebody's going to win and somebody's going to lose. But to the victor goes the spoils. And you are responsible for the direction of this country for the next four years. That's the cycle. And then if you don't do a good job, you get booted out of here. That's how democracy works. And in 2012, when Mitt Romney ran against Barack Obama, Barack Obama won. The country went left and it stayed left. And it did not like Mitt Romney's policies or how he presented himself. Everybody had their own reason of why they did not like Mitt Romney. And Mitt Romney is not an evil person. He's not. He just played in the game of politics and he lost. It is what it is. Now, fast forward <laughs> to one of the single most unique elections in history. You got a man who had absolutely no political experience against a woman who has had 30 years of political experience. Now, sometimes experience can be a very, very good thing because it shows wisdom and being trial through fire. You go through things and you build that leadership, that character comes and you're able to help people and you're able to move the country forward from your experience. Also, experience can be a very bad thing because if you've been doing something long enough, and not enough people have seen any kind of positive movement or any kind of positive improvement, even though you've been getting millions and millions of dollars. Something's wrong. Now, this isn't sexism. This isn't racism because both candidates were white. Both. You got a white. Well, he's orange, but you got a white man and you got a white woman. One is 69 years old, one is 70 years old. So racism was not an issue. Now, are there racist comments from supporters on both sides being tossed around like bad word tennis? Yeah, it's shameful. And all of you should be ashamed of yourselves. And it's wrong whether you're on the left or on the right. Bigotry, prejudice, racism, sexism, feminism, all the isms is wrong, period. And you do not represent me. 
and you do not represent the majority of the country of people that honestly just want the country to go in a different direction and feel that maybe Hillary just was not the answer. Now, there will be a woman president. I honestly believe there'll be a woman president within the next 16 to 20 years. It goes by really, really quickly. There will be. But that first woman president is going to have the respect of the majority of the country. And that is how democracy works. And people want to get rid of the electoral college. Well, you know, some of the electoral college was invented to keep mob rule from ruling the country. Now, if you don't understand that, go and take your civics classes in college or you got some in high school on the importance of the electoral college and firm, balanced representation of the entire country. You'll be fascinated by what you learn in those classes and about how the country really works and about how the democratic process of voting in a president works. So for everybody that's upset because your candidate lost, well, guess what? Before the end of your lifetime, nine times out of 10, more and more of your candidates are going to lose and more and more of your candidates before your lifetime are going to win. Now, you win with grace. You, you don't have to hold the loser's hands because the victor, to the victor go to spoils. But to people that lose, the best thing you could possibly do, instead of burning stuff down, instead of destroying your communities or the communities of others as you're bust in, build. Not only build, but build a massive coalition and convince people through evidence and facts of why your point of view is superior than your opponent's point of view and why your direction of the country is better than the other. That's how democracy works. To say that Donald Trump is going to destroy America while you're destroying America is an oxymoron. It's hypocritical. I know you're angry. I know you're hurt. But if I was mad at you and you pissed me off and I said, you know something, I want to break the law and I want to come to your house and I want to tear up your stuff. Because I'm mad at what you said. You would say, YG Night Storm, you need to get control of your emotions, brother. And this is irresponsible behavior. And how in the world do you think you can convince me of the words that you are speaking because your actions are screaming louder than any words that ever come out of your mouth? You are destroying my country. You're destroying my home. You're destroying my job on how I'm able to take care of people and my family and my children. If you want to convince me, then convince me. Show me through your policies, through your actions. Then I listen to your words. So on that note, I want to say God bless this country. And I wish Donald Trump the very best for the job that he has because he's never done this before. He's going to need a lot of help. But it is our duty as Americans to pull behind our president, regardless if it's a Democrat or, or if it's a Republican, respect the office. And I know so many, so many liberals say, well, Obama was not respected in the presidential office. And he wasn't. It is the truth. And it is shameful. And I will say this one more time. Bigots on both sides, whether you have an R in front of your name or a D in front of your name, if you cannot respect the office of the president, then you have no business voting for president and you have no business running for president. So period. You can agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. But by the end of the day, when Donald Trump was in that White House and President Obama was sitting next to him, 
both men put aside all the BS and the rhetoric of the campaign and put the country first. Both men had nothing but respect for each other. And Donald Trump had respect for President Obama. And President Obama had respect for President-elect Donald Trump because that's democracy and that's how you get the job done. That is what America is about. We will fight, but we will respect each other move forward and get on with the business of governing our great country. So God bless you. God bless Republicans. God bless Democrats. God bless liberals. God bless conservatives. God bless independents. And God bless everybody that hears my voice. I love you. You're my brothers and you're my sisters. Let's make this country great because the president regardless of who it is, does not make the country great. It is me and it is you that makes this country great. So, holler at you later. And uh, I look forward to reading the comments <laughs> on this video. God bless you all. Bye.